What's up guys, Ankle Spangin' here, and today we're playing as Kogma AD Carry in a actually very strange lane. Uh, I actually don't know who I'm going to be up against, I just know that they don't have a support or an AD Carry. So as far as being AD Carry Kogma goes against their team, I'm going to have a horrible time. Because if you look at their team, it's Riven, Syndra, Elise, Malphite, and Zed. Where Zed, Malphite, Elise, and Riven can all just fly onto me. And then Syndra can just get to me and burst me. So overall... Uh, I don't foresee this game going very well for me, but we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to try and do some AD carry stuff and chill in the back line and, uh, and do what I can with my support Lux here. And also, um, I'm probably going to upload this game regardless of how well I do just so I can have something to upload today. I tried to record two other games prior to this one, and, you know, as just like the other ones, they didn't go very well. Uh, so that sucks. I'm actually going to miss some CS now because I stayed so long. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? I tried to record good games for you guys, but it looks like not today I will not be able to. And this, God, this is going to be a rough lane. Good lord. Zed and Riven. Alright, well, I'm just going to have to level up my W first and keep my distance. Uh, that'll be about the only chance I have. River or my Lux established push control. And just so you guys know, the um, the quality of videos, I guess, has been lower recently because I've been feeling very, very ill. Uh, I think something's actually kind of wrong right now. So I'm going to go to the doctor soon, I think. Uh, get, get myself checked out so I can hopefully get myself better. Because... Uh, I'm pretty sure, ooh, looks like there's some big damage going off in here. And not going to kill him, but I'm going to do definitely a lot of damage to just keep autoing with my Bio Arcane Barrage on. I'll be a bunch of damage off on them. But, uh, my ear's feeling better for those of you wondering. It's mainly my throat right now. And it could be something weird with my tonsils, because I guess I, I never had them removed. Like, I'm not worried because I don't feel like I'm dying or anything like that. But it's really, really draining to feel ill for like three weeks now. So I'm sure you guys can understand, especially as a commentator, when I'm sitting here trying to uh, make videos with a bad throat, it's very difficult for me to do that. But anyways, that's enough bitching out of me. I'm just going to go ahead and try and make this video entertaining for you guys now, and we'll see how it goes. As I said earlier, very odd lane that we're up against. Riven Zed, they're going in on me because Riven hit level 3, so she has all of her skills. I'm about to take a lot of damage, but she's taking quite a lot back as well, so this is... that's not terrible. Uh, I do I do have all three of my skills now, so I can hopefully do a bit better. It looks like our jungle Gragas is coming down right now. And it looks like they want to all in me, just going... oh shit! Alright, well I'm gonna die, but so is this Riven. And I... What? How did I not get an assist? What the fuck? How did I actually not get an assist? That's so weird. Oh my god, whatever. I'm just gonna get a second Doran's Blade. And, um... And get some potions so I can hopefully sustain a little bit. Because that's about to be my only chance. Uh, against a Riven, she's just gonna, you know, fly on me. Same with Zed. That's why I'm gonna have to... Really just farm safely and stay really far behind. So, I mean, that's literally going to be my only chance if I want to do anything. Um, the snare not hitting, but actually the cocoon landing. And that will be... Let's just drop the slow there. What? That didn't hit? Alright. I don't want to get hit by the cocoon. But actually, Gragas is going to go in. And that will be her flash, the cocoon hitting the minion. So that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to keep trying to see us. I really, really need Gragas to get out of the lane so I can, you know, get full experience for this and try and catch up. Obviously, I don't want to push right now because, actually, it's going to friggin' naturally push anyways now. But, I hope I can get Riven to come back to lane and then she'll Q through the minions and shove it back towards me. That's kind of what I'm banking on right now. And also, in case you guys are wondering about the legitimacy of a Kog'Maw yeah. pick, uh, Kogma can be a good pick. You just have to, uh, you have to use them more in a team focused environment instead of a, uh, instead of a, like, solo queue thing. Because Kogma is a very, god, I'm missing all these. Kogma is a very, very weak solo queue AD carry. 
because yeah, he can pump out massive, insane amounts of damage, but he's just going to get destroyed. Like that's <laughs> that's just how it is. Um, and there, there it is. That's what I was waiting for. That's what I really wanted her to do. She just hit a lot of damage into the uh, into the wave, which hopefully it's not going to be enough to shove it back towards me yet. I'm just trying to see us safely, which not really working. It kind of is working because I got the range on my W that I can use to my advantage. Uh, hopefully, I, all I'm able to do really is poke, and Zed's going to come and try and slow me. So I'm just going to back off. I know this. You could see how aggressive Riven got it immediately as well. So they are definitely going to try and do stuff. Like, they are trying really hard to get onto me, and it's very obvious. I'm just going to run up here and pop my W. I'm going to throw my slow right there. And I really, really... Like, it would be really good if she would ward that bush, but I guess she doesn't want to. Uh, and actually, she's going to die, I think. Maybe? No, she's not going to die. She's not going to die. I'll get really close, though. And at least Riven's red pot wore off now. Damn. I really, really underestimate how fast she can close that gap. Oh, damn. <sighs> I am not used to playing against a bot lane Riven. You really need to ward the bushes so we can see them and I can see us. Please. Alright. Now I have boots. This will help me a bit. Uh, so I can hopefully run away a bit faster from these guys. Because like I said, I'm... <laughs> this is pretty much exactly what I foresaw. Now Z6 are just going to all end me. I'm going to get destroyed. Um, so overall it's bad. She's, he's just going to get all end right now. Yep, there it is. Oh no. I don't know what the plan was there. <laughs> like, you could see that coming from three and a half miles away, so. He did leave. Uh, oh, that was a huge barrel, and. Damn it. I'm not even gonna get an assist. <sighs> I really don't know I didn't get an assist on the first kill still. I mean, I understand that one because I didn't benefit or contribute to anything there. But that first kill was bogus. And we can, we can do something. It's three of us, dude. We can, we can do stuff. We can do work. Who's there mid? Syndra. Yeah, she'll burst someone. Never mind. It would still be 2v2, but um, Syndra wouldn't have her ultimate. Even, like, if we fought that. And the problem, like, the thing is, um, if we don't let them get too far ahead, like I said, I am Kog'Maw, and I have enough faith in myself to, you know, position myself properly, sometimes, but, um, it'll be really difficult versus their team. So, I'm going to have a really hard time. He's probably going to try and come through the river to kill me just by going behind me. One of them is, at least I think. Uh, that would be my guess. And the thing with this bot lane Riven, too, yep, is that I'm not going to really be able to poke him down either. Because every time I try and buy arcane, whatever, not, not buy arcane, but live in artillery, him, he's just going to shield it. So, after getting behind this lane, it's really gross to try and come back from. I hit both. No, wait, no, I didn't hit both of them. Okay. Whatever. Let's just do a bunch of damage to her real fast. That's some good damage. Boop. Just do some damage as much, as as often as I can. Uh, whoop. I ran right into that. That wasn't good. I'm not going to be able to clear that ward. Uh, let's see here. As far as top lane goes... Who was this? Malphite versus Udyr. Udyr's losing pretty badly, too. Alright. I feel like they might try and dive us, but at the same time, I'm not sure about it. So, we'll see what happens if they do try and dive us. Uh, not gonna be a lot we can do, I don't think. But we can, we gotta try it. Oh, there it is. They're going in on her, which is weird, actually. But I'm gonna be able to pick up a kill here, so that's one. Uh, and I'm just gonna chill here and get my potions taken. She did ignite me, so that's... That's something. Is he going to try and kill me? He's going to try and kill me. Alright, well... He's going to die. I don't know... I don't know what he wants. Let's see, this is 40 mana, right? Hey, hey man. Hey man. What you doing, Holmes? What you doing? Alright, here comes Gragas. Whoa! He's going to try and... Alt over that wall is or not alt, but uh, shadow over that wall, isn't he? All right, I was trying to stall him long enough for Gragas to get here. Not gonna be able to do that. <sighs> Bummer. What the body slam did connect, so that will actually be 
I'm just going to pick this up. Wait, no, I'm not going to pick this up, but I will get the assist for it. So that'll definitely help me out a lot. Uh, that'll be a kill for me. And and a shutdown assist. So overall, not too bad. Gragas, good job coming. I was trying to stall him as long as I could. Because, you know, being out of mana, I can't really go kill him myself. I'm just going to go ahead and go back right here. It's Riven. Okay, Riven's not going to try and run at me, but I'm still going to step back. Because even if she did try and run at us, we could kill her. But, uh, I'm just going to chill and go get my bilge water. So, no, wait, who's on a rampage? Who's... Syndra's on a rampage. That's not good. <laughs> it's not good for any of them to be on a rampage. Um, but I do have half of my Bork now, so hopefully that should help some. Looks like Udyr just got dove on. He's going to lose his top tower. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know why so many people are trying to do jungle Gragas. It's really not that good. Uh, like, I can see why it would do something. But it's definitely not something you would, like, really want to do. You know what I mean? Like, it's... It's it's kind of like Jungle Jinx. Like, you can make it work, I guess. But it's not... It's not gonna work really well. I'm gonna flash. And there goes both of their ultimates. Uh, let's go ahead and pop my ult. Grog is throwing his explosive cast. They're gonna try and all end me. I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh... Village water her, and I'm gonna drop my slow and oh, I actually got killed. She's dead though. Please let. Are you fucking serious, dude? Again with that? Like, why'd she pop the mark? If she didn't pop the mark, I could have gotten the kill. But, all right. Whatever. She's just trying to do what she could. Well, let's see. This maybe will be a kill. Maybe. Not. A nope. Nope. Maybe. If if they would just. Either of them would auto attack. It probably would be. But <laughs> neither of them are auto attacking, so they, they they clearly don't want it bad enough. He's just gonna yep. <laughs> that double though, dude. We're not coming back from this one. Wait, what the heck? I knew I knew Sindra was fed, but I didn't know she was seven and no fed. Alright, well, Every lane is losing horribly. Uh, I should, I should have at least another kill than I do right now. But that's not really like that's not something you sit there and really think about on the spot. So it's not like I'm mad at Lux or anything. There's not like it's not something she would have really thought about immediately if she had uh, if she was trying to get me the kill. They're getting dragon. There's not much I can do about that. As much as I would have loved to do something about that, I need to back off. Uh, I think. No, they're apparently they're apparently not coming down for me. Hello, hello, said. I will poke you. Hello, have my poke. I'm gonna back off before I get too deep and I get destroyed by someone coming out of the bush. And it looks like the Zareth is speaking a language that I do not understand because it is all boxes for me. Okay, okay, this guy is going all in on me, so I'm just going to try and duke it out with him. And Riven's there. Whoop. Eh, eh, eh. I'm not gonna bother using my barrier. Boop! <laughs> uh, I don't know why he ran around like that, but I still, I was still able to pick up a kill. Um, this bot lane wouldn't be such an issue if I was like anyone but Kogma. Uh, <laughs> the fact that I'm Kogma is making this like seven times harder for me because. Kogma doesn't have any escapes. Like, if I was an AD carry like Ezreal or something, this would honestly be a pretty easy lane, I think. Uh, just because... Just because of the fact that I would have my arcane shift so often. They wouldn't be able to get to me to kill me. Um, but as I was saying, Kogma... Yes, he is a hyper carry, but he's not going to be able to carry much of anything without, a, uh, without good protection from his team. So, that usually does drag him down. That's what makes him not a good AD carry right now. Just gonna throw my slow that I forgot is only level one. I tried to use it to get the uh, the CS and she's not gonna be standing there. Oh, she is. How about that? Alright, well, I don't know if I'll be able to get the kill. He's just gonna try and throw a shuriken at me. He's gonna try and E me again. Or not. I'm just gonna bring these back to the tower. And auto these. Boop. As far as CSing goes, I'm doing a horrible job. Um, 
it's really hard to see us when as soon as I move I'm gonna get destroyed so it's it's kind of an eerie uh, I don't know about an eerie thought but it kind of uh, kind of makes the job difficult if you know what I'm saying and even if, <laughs> even if I was doing well the Syndra's 9 and0 now uh, she's actually farming decently and she's got a DFG already and she's okay the tier is kind of weird on Syndra but it's not bad. Uh, when you're when you're that far ahead, you can really afford to do whatever you want almost. And Riven's mid, so I can actually, I actually get some one-on-one -on -one time with my baby Boo Zed here. So he's gonna, he's actually gonna do a decent amount of damage to me right there. But I'm just gonna try and life steal it back up. And it looks like I think Riven was heading towards the top, uh, but I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna back off after this wave. Yep, Riven was actually heading towards the top, so I'm gonna go. A little bit aggressive on this guy, just try and do some good poke on him. There we go, that was some good poke. There we go. Now, I do have, you know, a solid, you know, I, I'm pretty confident that he's not going to try and kill me. Because if he does, he'll die. Um, like, if he tries to death mark me, he's going to kill himself. So, I'm fine with that. I'll just sit here and do a bunch of damage to the tower. And... Throw the slow. Boop. Get some more poke off. There we go. Back off because I don't see the rest of their team. I mean, I'm probably going to die here pretty soon. So I'm going to be somewhat mindful of my surroundings. Uh, I have no idea where Riven is. Alright. Syndra's down here now. Okay. This will be fun. This will be... She, she can literally one-shot me. She can literally just walk under the tower and one-shot me. So there's not much I can say about them taking this tower. Because I can't tell them no. Um, as much as I would love to, I cannot do it. Looks like... Sh what What are you... Lux? <laughs> Lux just escaped by the hair of her behind right there. Um, by ju Literally just by barely paying attention at the very last second. So... I don't know if that was intentional, but that was pretty lucky on her part. And... Oh gosh. As much as I would just absolutely love to do stuff. As you can see, she can kill the minions like instantly, and I am not much tankier than a minion right now. So as much as I would love to tell them no, you can't have this tower, they they are gonna get this tower. Oh, that was a good binding, but it won't be Oh my god, that damage. I'm just I'm I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yep. Please. 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 Get off. No, don't knock him towards me, you fucker. Oh my god, thank goodness. Thank goodness for that barrier. Alright. <laughs> it would have been a bit more ideal if he didn't knock him towards me. That wouldn't have, like, pooped myself so much. Zed actually gonna get killed. kill it. <laughs> Grog is not exploding his barrel. I don't know. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why didn't Kog'Maw pop his barrel? Or not Kog'Maw, but Gragas. Why didn't Gragas explode his barrel? I'm going to go top. Because I think he can just dive me under tower. But I don't want to just let that uh, let that tower go for free. Because as much as I don't think we'll be coming back in this game, uh, might as well still try, you know? So, let's do... Yeah, take that. Take that. Whoop. Whoop. Actually, I do have my Bork, so... You know, Ultra Carry Mode Engage, possibly. Um, hello, hello, I'm back, please, please, I actually don't know if it's better to max your Q or your E second on AD carry Kogma. um, I know the Q is really good because it reduces resistances, and it also is like a nice burst and it gives you attack speed, so overall it's just like a really really good thing to have on an AD carry, but the E also does more damage, um, as you level it up, of course, and it makes a bigger slow. So, I can see the benefit to both of them. Hello! I'm just gonna get myself out. I am not gonna be getting myself out of here. <laughs> Never mind. You know what? Fuck you, Sinja. Yeah. Take that. Um, I <laughs> I'm not gonna say I didn't expect. Uh, whatever his face is, Malphite. But I did not expect Sinja to be there. It looks like the Xerath ultimate going down. Gonna stun him. That will be a kill on Zed, so good job there. That was only three ultimates for Zed. Um, so, you know, worth. 
Let's go ahead and get the Berserker's Greaves and run back towards the top. I think I actually could have gotten away from Malphite alone. Because after he sped himself up, I uh, I did seal his movement speed with the Bork active. And then I could throw my Voidus down under my feet so he wouldn't be able to chase me. He would actually be way slower than me. Um, I think even with his full combo, I could have actually gotten away from him pretty easily. So, it was all Cinder there that was the reason I died. But, uh, what are you going to do? Let's go ahead and Voidus this guy and just do some damage to him. Look at that amount of damage I'm actually pumping out on him. Gee, many Christmas. Kog'Maw is really fun to play, in my opinion, but, like I said earlier, um, he just doesn't fit into the current meta. So that's, in my, like, to me, it's really actually sad that he doesn't, because he's just so fun. He's just so fun. But hey, what are you going to do? Let's go ahead and try and get some harassing on them. Yeah, boop. yeah, take that. Clairvoyance, the dragon that is not up. Yeah. What, that didn't hit? That was a big stun. That hit all three of us. That was a really well done shot. So good job on that. But, uh, just going to ult there. See if I can pick a vision. Also, when you're playing Kog'Maw, you don't want to sit there and spam your ult, because uh, the more you spam it, it'll actually take more mana to use every time. And that's, uh, that's risky. Well, not risky, but it, uh, it does end up hurting you in the long run. All because of the simple fact that, you know, it gets to cost him, like, 200 mana every time you use it. And I'm, I was, I was thinking of going around the corner there and trying to kill her, but I don't think it was, uh, I don't think it was in my books to kill her. Because she does a lot of damage. Hello! I am dead. Alright. Whoop! May oh, man. I was hoping I could use my suicide to get a kill. Gonna just do some damage. Didn't even see where Malphite came from, honestly. I guess he came up from behind me. So that was me not paying attention again. But, uh... Back to what I was saying earlier, I don't think it would really matter, because... Yeah, I, I, as much as I love to be a positive person, I don't think we're going to be winning this one. So... Kinda sucks. That was a really, really unnecessary flash, but whatever gets the job done, you know what I'm saying? So, your deer to you know, try and do something, but, you know, swiftness philosopher deer is just, just not working out for him. Like, your philosophizer deer is not going to be doing a whole lot. Um, ironically, like, the, I don't even, I, I don't want to say the worst champion, because Grogs is an insanely good champion. But a champion not fitting for his role is doing the best on our team right now. Um, and your dude's not doing terribly. Like, he's not feeding, but he's definitely not contributing much. Just because, uh, you know, or do you really can't. I want that. I wanted that. Come back. Come fight me. Fight me. I was actually kind of hoping I would get that. I don't know how I didn't get it. Oh, well. Um... The thing is, like, I'm actually doing a lot of damage, even though it doesn't really look like it. I actually am doing a very large amount of damage. And I think that if we could get to the late game somehow, and I could get a, uh, some magic resistance items or something, we could probably win. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it's likely, but the fact that they don't have an AD carry at all, where we have, like, arguably the strongest hyper carry in the game, um... I mean, it's possible. <laughs> Very highly unlikely, but possible. <coughs> I say the strongest very loosely. I'm not sure who's actually stronger in a straight up DPS battle between uh, Vayne or Kog'Maw. I know Vayne has her true damage, which really adds up fast, but um. Whoop, I just got stunned. I'm dead. I'm dead. Whoop! Damn it! <gasps> eh, eh. Uh, yeah! I got Syndra with my passive! Get wrecked. Alright, well, as much as I would, like I, like I said, I would love to try and carry, but I'm not going to be able to. Uh, <laughs> nice. Well done. A perfect flash. Uh, <laughs> I think he was trying to go over this wall here, but he just flashed into the wall instead. That happens. Happens. Um, 
Back to what I was saying, like, Vayne does the true damage with her silver bolts, which will do a lot of damage. But Kog'Maw's Bio-Arcane Barrage with a Bork does, like, 10% of their current... Wait, is it current health on the Bork? 5% current health and 6% of their maximum health is damage. So, as far as straight-up damage goes, like, Kog'Maw's nothing to, nothing to sit there and joke about, you know? So, I don't know who actually does more. Straight up, just DPS off. But, uh... I know they're both very, very strong. And I think we're definitely going to be surrendering this one. Uh, it's not going very well for us, sadly. I don't know... I might as well just hit yes. Because, I mean, the game's over. I don't know if Kamo was a good pick. I just really kind of felt like playing him, to be honest. But... If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favorite. It lets me out. I hope you guys learned something, even though we kind of sucked. Um, if you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. I'll link in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.